Hello everybody, I'm going to just talk about some more about my, uh, I mentioned in my mental health uh, video that I have Asperger's or Autism Spectrum Disorder and so I'm going to talk more about autism in my life. So I will talk about what is my comforts for when I need something to calm me down. So basically I have a ton of different stuff that helps me. I don't know where that went with all my fidget toys in it, but um, I have squishies. I have them downstairs in my backpack, and I carry around a stuffed animal too. My friend Emma, her comfort is door pictures. Only have one door though, which is the courtyard door at the at the rehab in um, Ridgewood. So mine is uh, stuffed animals. I have my lion. I sleep with him. I switch with different animals every night but I'll show you who my favorite is my favorite favorite is is my teddy bear so this is my teddy bear his name is snuggle he's the snuggle bear from the dryer sheet commercial Also, another comfort I have is my baby dolls. This is Bella. I keep her on my bed. And really squishy things. Lots of squish. And things I can feel that have soft. And this is very soft and squishy. I keep that right there on my bed. Um... You all know that that I'm a furry, and that helps me too. I have three fur suits. They're over here. That's my fur suits. But there is. The negative side to furries and I get a lot of backlash for being a furry but it really doesn't bother me it's what helps me also music helps me too and drawing and writing sometimes painting and mostly drawing and listening to music. I have crystals and rocks and I will now talk about the things I'm interested in. With autism we get really attached to certain subjects, certain things. So I like Pokemon, I like anime, I like furries, sci-fi and fantasy, um, and yeah, I also really, really am a big animal lover, and what really helps me is petting cats or dogs, and it's really, really good for me. And, um, 
I know a lot about animals and science and if you ask me anything about animals or science I'll probably know it. I know a lot about medical science and I know a lot about space too but not as much as I know about medical science and animal science. Animal science I know the most about. I may not know how to answer most of your all your questions but I'll probably know most of them. What shows do I watch that that I like? I just got into Sesame Street. Don't judge. I have autism, which means my brain is still like a kid's brain. So I like kid shows. I watch Sesame Street. I watch. I hate Elmo though. His voice goes through my head. Um, I like. Lion Guard, I like, I like, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, Beat Bucks is a good one, I just started watching that, I didn't really get to watch much, but it seems like a good show. Paw Patrol, I really love Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol is one of my love, like, favorites of all time is Paw Patrol. What kind of movies I watch is a lot of cartoon movies. Zootopia is one of my favorites because I'm a furry. And The Lion King. And lots of Disney movies I love. I love anime to watch. And I love comedies. Comedy really helps me when I'm stressed out. I watch funny videos of cats, dogs, and... I do a lot of happy stims, like when I get excited I flap like that or I go like this. I do this a lot too. Sometimes I do this and I rub my legs a lot like this and it drives my mom crazy. I also have tics. Autism can come with tick disorders. It's not Tourette's, but I do have ticks. My mom thinks it's from medication. It could be, but I'm not sure. So that's what I'm gonna, that's, that's pretty much it, what I want to say. So I will keep talking about my autism in, in my videos. So, um, bye.